Welcome to another video from ultimatealgebra.com. In this video, we will be looking at complex numbers. In math, you cannot find the square root of a negative number, so if you have square root of negative 36, you cannot solve it. This problem becomes even more important when we look at operations on these numbers, like square root of negative 49 plus square root of negative 36. To solve this problem, the idea of the imaginary number was introduced. The letter i is used to represent this number. i is the square root of negative 1. We can break square root of negative 36 into square root of 36 times square root of negative 1 because 36 times negative 1 is negative 36. Then we can call this part i because the square root of negative 1 is i. We can then find the square root of the 36, which is 6. So square root of negative 36 is 6i. We can do the same thing for the square root of negative 49. This can be written as square root of 49 times square root of negative 1. We know that the square root of negative 1 is i. We can then find the square root of 49, which is 7. Since these two are both imaginary numbers, we can now add them. 7i plus 6i is 13i. So square root of negative 49 plus square root of negative 36 is the imaginary number 13i. We just scratched the surface of complex numbers. If you want more clearly explained videos like this one, please become a member with the join button below or visit ultimatealgebra.com and get our full course with over 200 videos and practice questions. Please like and subscribe. See you in the next video.